Hello everyone. In this high yielding shots, I am going to tell you about myelopathic anemia, which is a space occupying lesion of the bone marrow, right? And because of that, what will happen? It will decrease the hematopoiesis because of the space occupying lesion. So, what are the causes? It can be because of the metastatic cancer, and remember, it is the most common cause of the myelopathic anemia, and they are most commonly associated with which cancer? That is the cancer breast. right other causes are granulomatous lesions like a tb leukemia lymphoma infiltration of the bone marrow myelofibrosis and hairy cell leukemia in myelopathic anemia you will find characteristic triad so what are the triad pancytopenia because of the lack of hematopoiesis and there will be immature precursors in the peripheral blood so immature precursors of the wbc and immature precursor of the rbc will be present in the peripheral blood and because of the maturity defect there will be a tear drop rbc on peripheral smear examination so it will be looking like this right you can see this is a very large platelet and these are nucleated rbcs right so immature nucleated rbc is immature rbc right and same way you can see these are the myelocytes so these are the immature wbc or wbc precursors so when you find immature rbc and wbc on peripheral smear this is called as leuco erythroblastic reaction right blast means immature leuco means wbc precursor erythro means rbc precursor right so wbc precursor rbc precursor blastic reaction is called as leuco erythroblastic reaction seen in <coughs> seen in uh, myelopathic anemias and third important thing you can notice there is a tear drop rbc right so these are the three things which we are going to see on peripheral smear of the leukoerythroblastic of the uh, myelopathic anemia so enjoy learning and best wishes for your exams